Hey y'all, um, I just wanted to come on here and give some, some hope, some inspiration because I know sometimes when you get on people's pages and especially people that like on my channel, I, godly, I'm talking about God and, and whatever he's telling me to say, I, I'm putting it out there and y'all, everybody, we don't have our lives together. Everybody don't have everything together it, this is a day-to-day -day process and what brought me to this was a comment on one of my videos and it's it's like you cannot don't give up on God when even if all your life you've struggled all my life I've struggled I'm 43 years old but I, I have not taken my eyes off the Lord and, and as a matter of fact as I got older I I, I came closer to him and the question that I have is are you looking at the things that you're doing how is your relationship with God are you allowing him to order your steps is he guiding you or are you trying to do it with one step in and one step out you got to allow God to 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 order your steps you got to allow God to be a part of your life and um, focus on your growth focus on building a relationship with him making sure that you're hearing from him and because he will guide you he will if it's somebody out here trying to block you and, and you you keep saying oh I I I'm doing all this, I'm doing that, or whatever, but I still ain't never, I ain't blessed, baby. If you still living, if you still got breath in your body, you are blessed. If you are, are making it, but you barely making it, you struggling, you still blessed because there's still a lot of people out here that died yesterday. That wanted to, to do something, that had plans to do stuff. But that's where that grace come in. Every day that you wake up, God is giving you grace to find your purpose, to do, do what it is that he wants you to do. But you got to build that relationship with him so that you can hear from him, so he can tell you what you need to do, what is wrong, what, what is going on within you that you need to change so that he can bless you or show you the people that's causing you not to be blessed. You could be handling things the wrong way or dealing with people that you don't need to be dealing with. And he's trying to get you to see that and you won't let those people go. Trust me, I am a living witness. I I just witnessed all of this. I just had to do, do this. I just had to embrace this and live this. Let go of things that was not of God. Let go of the things that he was trying to get me to let go of. I had to work on myself. I had to work on things within me so that I could get to that step and get to that place where God has me going and God is, is doing what he's doing in me. You cannot be attached to the wrong crowd, the wrong type of people, the wrong uh, uh, people that you think that love you, that don't have no, no, they don't care about you. They don't, they in your face smiling, but they don't really care about you. You need to allow God to show you who those people are. Because there's people in your life that's blocking you. If you if you feel like you've been doing right and you've been do, doing everything that you're supposed to do, then it's probably your surroundings. It's probably people that you have in your camp. Because everybody that's in your camp is not for you. Until you allow God to remove and clean you up, come in your space, come in your life and cleanse you from the inside out and your surroundings, that can include family. That can include family. Everybody is not for you. And I need for you to understand that when you come and when you go on under, go to people's pages looking for hope and, and go under these and listen to these prophetic words, you also have to ask God if that word is for you. Because you can't just throw yourself into that and think that it's your word. And then if it don't come true for you, you say, oh, well, I don't believe I, or or you cannot do that. That's where the, the the relationship with God comes to play. Every prophetic word is not for everyone. 
you will feel it in your spirit if it's for you. God will give you confirmation if it's for you. But you have to ask. You have to ask. So stay. Hold on. Do not let go of the promise of, of God. Get in the word and read the word. Meditate on the word. Even if it's one scripture at a time. Let that word manifest in you. And, and let the word. Let, let God speak to you. Speak to your heart. Speak to your mind. And let him reveal to you the things in you that you need to clean up and, and get rid of or let go of. I promise you, he will do it for you. You're looking at somebody that just had to go through the same process. And when I tell you my life changed for the better, am I living my life, my best life? No, I'm not. But I'm not going to sit up here and say, I'm not going to talk negative about my life. Um, I'm not going to put no your words mean mean something when you speak things in the atmosphere be careful with that because that will bite you in the butt if you're speaking negative negatively about you all the time or negatively about your life all the time guess what you're opening up a door for negativity to hit you in the face always wake up with intentions to be positive and and, and stay uh, with your mind stayed on God yes we all fall short of the glory but guess what God will give you grace and he will give you um the tools and the authority to help you get your mind back on track we all fall short but when you fall do not stay there do not stay there no matter what you're going through in your life do not allow that to be your portion. That is not your portion. Speak positive things about yourself, about your life, about your future. Everything you need to speak positively about. Don't find yourself speaking negative regardless of what you're going through. Speak positive things about your situation and watch your situation change. God bless.